Hello, I am Kim Miller from Woman at the Well Ministries, and I want to thank you for spending the next few moments with me as we study God's Word and I read our angel Graham entitled God's Ambassador. Our scripture today comes out of Jeremiah 1 9. And God is no respecter of persons. What he's done for others, he'll do for you. This is what he says to us in Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 9. Then said the then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Hello, my friend. Hop to your feet and get moving. Today is a very important day. You are moving with a mission. Your mission is to spread God's word to one and all. You are to be God's ambassador. So hurry up. Time is ticking and people are waiting. Open up your heart and yield your entire being to God. It will be amazing to see what great things God does through you today. Get a move on. Blessings are waiting just for you. You'll be called many things today. Some of you may be called mom. Some of you may be called dad. Some of you may be a brother or a sister, a friend, a teacher, a doctor, a nurse. Whatever your titles are, you'll get called that or you'll be working under that premise. But have you ever realized that of all the titles you hold, you also hold ambassador, God's ambassador. And today and every day, you've been charged to work under that title. The scripture in Jeremiah 1, 9 again reads this, Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Sometimes you get so caught up in worrying about what you're going to say and do that you miss golden opportunities to serve God. You limit his work through you because you do not let him flow through you. You must hold tight to this verse. It gives you the assurance that when God calls you to his service, he will equip you to do his work. You need not worry about what you're going to do or say. You need to just step aside and let him flow through you. Speak his words and let him do the rest. Just simply follow our angel to angel chat. I know you have a great task ahead of you as you witness to those around you. Rest assured that God will speak through you if only you open up your heart, mind, and life to him. All you have to do is avail yourself to him and let God work through you. Go with God, my dear friend. Remember God loves you. You are loved. Key thought, when he speaks, everybody listens. Let us pray. Our kind and most gracious to Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this another day. Lord, I ask that you would place opportunities for each person right now in the sound of this angelgram to do a work for you, that you would open up doors, that you would give us courage and understanding, that you would fill our hearts with your peace and our minds with your knowledge. And we claim the promise, Lord, that where you lead, you will equip us and you will speak your words through our mouth. Help us, Lord, to get ourselves out of the way and to fill ourselves with you, to make room for you in our lives and to listen when you lead. Lord, we love you and we praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, amen.